Hey guys, Kigur here, and today I got a message, or not today, but a couple days ago, I got a message from Chester Wright asking, uh, hey, it's Nico, I was wondering if there's, uh, if there's a way in Camtasia Editor to manly, manually cut background noise. Thank you for responding. Um, so yeah, I want to show you how to go do some audio enhancements within Camtasia Studio to even out, uh, volume levels, and if you have background noise and you're, like, you know, anything that's running the you know, maybe AC, so that's what I have in my uh, background that's usually running, or the computer, you know, or anything like that, that just may be uh, giving off excessive sound that you don't want your recording, you want to smooth it out. And even if you think your recording's still fine, you know, you know, it's always great to run it through some audio enhancers just to make it, you know, sound that much better. So I have a uh, media clip right here that I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet, but I will be soon. And see here, all the audio, this, uh, for the most part, the mic I use does a good job of noise cancellation. It's a Headset make by Logitech, uh, the Notebook Pro's headset, and does a really good job of just receiving um, intact, you know, audio. Um, and that's the most important part, you know, to negate background noise. First off, when you're recording, you're gonna want to actually have, you know, you're gonna want as less background noise as you want. So maybe you want to turn off the AC, you want to close any windows, or you know, stuff like that. Um, but also, you want to make sure you have a good mic. And you want to make sure it's positioned well. And that way, you won't have to worry about audio filters in the first place. But still. You know, you might want to mess around with them. Um, so after you got that all settled, um, you drop your media, and it's going to show all the clips right here, and it's going to, you know, put out the audio waves. And then you're going to click right here on Audio Enhancements. Now it says Dynamic Range Control, and if you click Even Out Volumes, you can use the settings to see how you want the volume variation. You can say High, and you can see the things kind of spike up there. Low or Medium, or just Custom, however you want it. This is where you can really get very, uh, you know, manually threshold the gain, and you know, you can get really precise here. Now, if you you can hide the advanced option, stuff like that, and I'm just gonna uncheck that. Um, now for background noise removal, you can automatically try to detect noise on the timeline, so you automatically run through and see if there's anything that's out of the ordinary, like pops, hisses, stuff like that, and try and remove them. And you can also manually select a region of audio, though, let's say there's one recording where something happened, or like you know, sound in the background, you can just highlight that part and then hit remove noise and you can do the sensitivity of how loud the background noise is and it's going to show you the status of the noise removal then you're just going to hit remove noise and it's going to stop training audio and you know it's going to hit stop and it says noise removal enabled so if you notice here I'm just going to hit OK now you see the track's kind of a different type of color and if I play my audio let's see if I don't I think you'll be got, you guys will be able to hear but uh let's see here play you notice that the spikes are less down and, you know, it's a little less... Now you guys can't really hear the audio, but it is, uh, cuts off that background noise. And you can adjust that to how you like. So again, just click Audio Enhancements. Oh, sorry, I clicked the wrong one there. Audio Enhancements, that's what I want to click. And just mess around with this, and then again, if you want to, you know, mess around with this, you can restore noise. You can take it away, you know, it's up to you, so if you want to restore it. Or you can adjust the sensitivity in which, you know, certain, you only want certain type of volumes of sounds within your video. Um, so yeah, so that's how you do noise removal, and you know, you can restore noise, you can show more audio options if you scroll down. You can get vocal enhancements, so you can do a male voice if you want to kind of change your voice. You can remove the clipping or click type sound, so the click sensitivity. If you can hear that type of clicking noise, you know, anything like that, if you have, you know, your mouse next to your mic or anything like that. And you can just try and mess around with your voice if you want to try that out. So yeah guys, that's how you, uh, and make sure you always, of course, hit OK right when you're done. That's how you do it in Camtasia Studio Editor. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little tutorial on audio enhancements, and again, your audio track will always show up right here. And you can, of course, always drop these into other free source programs like Audacity or even Vegas, and get really precise editing if, you know, it's really important that you need your audio, you know, uh, precise, but and then you can run through the filters and stuff like that, and you should be good to go. Anyways, guys, hope this answers your question uh, to Chester, and I hope it helps anybody out there who is, uh, you know, wondering about audio enhancements in Camtasia Studio. Thanks for listening, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and check out our channel at www.youtube.com slash LakerCoolMan if you're not on there already, if you're watching this on our blog at www.adrianstech.com. Uh, I encourage you to go there. And lastly, follow me on Twitter for all my internet updates premium content at twitter.com slash kidgrew. Thanks for listening, guys. Catch you next video.